day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah, now that, 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 I, 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 I understand that part, that, that separation yeah. at that, at that point. Um, man, can you imagine what that would have been like though? He had what? never been separated from it all eternity, just man and man, they have been yoked together. Yeah. And in that moment of darkness, that was some most severe darkness. I mean, it's like coming out of a bright room and being running into one that got no light in it. Like it's double dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, so but the it, willingness to do that. To go through it, yeah. The, yeah. the, the willingness, that that is a power Motivated. Motivated that is, is, is beyond our understanding. I do know that. Yeah. And that is one of the, the point I was trying to make was that that was love. Yeah. yeah. When you say that's a power that goes beyond our understanding, that is exactly what everything that we're doing is about. It takes us to a point. My mom loved my brother the young man. My on, brother the youngest. <laughs> my brother was a, a rake. I loved him dearly. But no matter what he did, she always could find a way to justify it. Uh -huh. She always find a way to always reach out to help him. Yeah. And that's what I'm finding out with this thing that we're doing is God will find a way. It's like we say water will find a way. That's how love is. Right. It says love covers a multitude of sins. Yeah. And he talks about how our works, what we actually do, don't count for nothing. Yeah. See, your 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 good works as filthy rags. Yeah. He didn't say your bad works, he said your good works. That's yeah. good correct. Yeah. So there, there, there's nothing that we're doing that's ever going to live up to the standard that is love. Yes. Yeah. Because love does come with most of sins. Come on. Look at what God did. Come on. For the sake of love of his creation, he became wrong that we might become right. Come on. Come on, <laughs> he man. suffered the death, the, 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 the suffering, the pain, the, the indignation, the, the embarrassment, the whole night, the defaming. So that we might have prestige, right? And that's crazy. How do you how do you make sense of that? Well, look, the part I get is back is don't forget who he did it for us. Us, and we, I think, but sometimes some of us lose sight of us were the ungodly. Yeah, man, you can't tomorrow all over. <laughs> we don't need that's one standard we can stay, we can establish every day. One of them born to see the Adam. All the born dead is trespasses and sin. Every day yeah, one of jacked that, up that, that their own right. You know what I'm saying? It's a great thing, you know, though he chose a people. Uh-huh. He still was preparing a way for all of humanity. Through that one people. Through that one people. Exactly. Uh, that that I, I used to always wonder, you know. Out of all these people in the world, you know, God just didn't care about them. It was only this group, you know, and uh, but it was for a purpose. <laughs> it on my understanding. It was a purpose. I thought I, I thought I actually put in it, one of the scriptures it, toward the end. It was no, I didn't. I guess I didn't. <laughs> so did did anybody look at uh, Matthew and Mark in relations to this? What the Matthew did I, I Matthew twenty two. 34 and 40 and Mark 12, 28 to 31. I don't know. I don't, I don't, anybody? <laughs> I didn't. I put the, uh, the description I came up with the one you see I presented to you. So I, pull, I pull up uh, Matthew 22. Okay. Let me get it first. Right. Okay. You got it? Yeah. I'm gonna go put it up. I'm gonna put it up. Uh, you know, I, I left it, that past the scripture because I I went down here when he was wounded and put him on. I, I left 34 hours in there. The uh, you see verse 34, brother asking what I'm looking for. You got Matthew's what? The 22nd. Okay. You see why I'm doing that? Can you read that Isaiah for me? You see verse 34, and then I put uh, the Isaiah one in relation to. Oh yeah, when he was you talking about the uh the, the law? 
Yeah. Yeah. Because uh-huh. he just said in 34, he said, he went to him and bound up his wounds, poured in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast and brought him to an end and took care of him. I skipped over that. But I, the, the, the verse that came up, the scripture that came up that one for me was, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow. And acquainted with Greek. And I'm saying that that Jew, that Samaritan was despised, right? By the mm-hmm. Jews. Right? And rejected. At least by the Jews. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's a great parallel. It's a great parallel. Because yeah. even though that was the case, he was the salvation for us. Yes. Just like that. If that guy was a Jew, Samaritan help. Yeah. The parallel becomes even more so uh, uh, distinctive, or, uh, you know, explicit anyway. Yeah. Because I mean, they hated the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> and Samaritan, Samaritan was the one they have that guy. Exactly. He hated Jesus. We crucified right. him. The world hated the man, and the man died for us. He died for us. You're yeah. picking at him, plucked his beard out, and they did all manner of stuff to this man. And he was on the cross for that sake. Exactly. And I was now, ah, uh-huh. <laughs> but the question becomes are we willing to do Jesus? Are we willing to go on the cross for the sake of somebody else? I think I think if you go from to me, I say I think that's why it's important to the uh, uh, relate relate to the man that was wounded. If you can have the, if you can put yourself in him in his spiritual condition, and that that's how your spiritual condition was, I think humility allows you to do the same for somebody else because somebody did it for you. Is that pass? What is it called? Pass forward. Pass yeah. Forward? Yeah. But as in Matthew's what? Matthew 22. 22. Starting at verse 34. Okay, let me see if I can pull it over here. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see it or not? I need not it. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to have to break it off. One second. Let me one second. Where am I? Stop sharing. Not I think, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I can just read it. Well, I'm gonna bring it up. I got it now. I just didn't, I thought I was sharing. Twenty-two, thirty. Thirty-four through forty. There you go. So basically, this is 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 the same. The only difference is Jesus answered. Okay, but when the Pharisees when the Pharisees heard that he had put a Sadducee to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question. As another lawyer tempted him and said, "Master, which is the great commandment?" And there you go, right? He he responded to him, and Jesus said, him, that, "That's a career. That's another setting." He was saying to thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. That was interesting. I didn't, you know, I didn't go and tie that particular one in there because right, that's another. And then Mark is 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 the same. So that that's what led me. Okay. Mm-hmm. This parable is Christ ushering in this new covenant and new way of life. Yeah. Because he fulfilled that. He he he, he was demonstrating that in that in that parable. When Mark said the same thing, what Mark what? I just it's, want to uh, Mark 12. 12 what? 28 and 34. Yeah, okay. And what setting was this one? That was a, was that? Did, did it's it's pretty that? much the same thing. But he didn't give it, you know what? He never, nobody challenged him on who was the neighbor, did he? Now, this one, did the neighbor, it was the neighbor. Oh, they did. That, that was in the other parable. 
You said then who was oh, that? There is. 31 is the neighbor. 30. You said Elder 31. Mm-hmm. And the second is like the name that this thou shalt love thy neighbor with neighbor as thyself. There's none other commandments greater. And the scribes said to them, Well, this one, see, he was you know, he answered it with the parable for the one in Luke. Nobody yeah, he answered it who the neighbor was, yeah. Yeah, nobody challenged him on that on 31. He just said, the scribes said to him, Well, Master, thou has said the truth. But there is is one God, and there is none other but he. To love him with all thy heart, with all thy understanding, and to and with all thy soul, and with the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all who burnt offerings and sacrifice. So, 30, read saw, 34. And when Jesus saw, yeah, and when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far. From the king. you ain't in it though, brother. Hey, brother, as you ain't in it, <laughs> but you got far from the kingdom of God, and no man after that just asked him any question. I, I thought that was interesting because then he used that parable to answer when somebody did try to challenge that. It's almost like, well, in my mind, because Luke, Luke, what I, I don't think Luke was there. Okay. Uh, I believe that Luke, and he may have been there, but his his take on that was a little different and more detailed. And I think all these three are all the same. Yeah, instant. Because you know Matthew and Mark were there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and there's nothing saying that Luke was there, but the question you know he could up. have possibly been there, and you know how Luke was more detailed about his writing, right, right, and yeah, and, and some of his writings were you can tell were based on 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 uh, feedback, maybe from a question or or he may have heard. Yeah. So that 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 was that was my my whole thing in in my my, my discussion, which brings me back to Bishop. We, we I never he he never got an opportunity to uh, respond. What was your question then? My my question was uh, basically how how does this parable. Uh, line up with your CIT from the soul. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't? No. The parable only dealt with the uh, so does it translate to all parables? Well, see, I I don't consider this to be a parable, and that's that's true. Well, I, yeah, go ahead. You're, I I agree. Now that since you said that, hold on, let me unscrew this light bulb. It might be too bright. I think it did. That's I think that's the issue. Yeah, I was uh, I can't remember what you identified as a parable. Yeah, let, let me go back to my fact, I think it's in the slide that did it, right? Let me see, let me see. one second. Now the the title says. No, no. I think he said it said identified it. Said identified it. No, no. I was just saying the title may identify it as a parable, but it. Jesus. Jesus didn't. I think he did. Though. I think I did. Maybe he did. I, I thought he did. He said. 
But I did, but I did, when I went into my notes, I said, he said a certain man, and then a certain priest, and a certain Levite, which means these were real people. That it doesn't but it matter. wasn't, uh, was it necessarily a parable? Parable, right. Yeah. Because he's a certain people, just like me, Lazarus and rich man, right? Lazarus and the rich man. They were saying uh, a parable. No, 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 I'm talking about Luke one was, was not a parable either, right? The, the one about the uh, rich man and Lazarus. No, that, that, not normally. It's not generally. That was based on, on on a fact. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let me let me go begin it. I think it's, it may have been. I thought somebody said it in that. Let me see. That's Luke. All of you. Is well, anyway, this story starts off. Jesus is asked a question. Yeah. He answers the question. Who is my neighbor? Right. No, he answers the question. Yeah, he answered the question with a question. Well, in, in, no, in response to the question, when he when he asked the question, that they when this lawyer asked him a question, Jesus refers him back and asked him a question. He gives an answer. Jesus confirmed that answer. Yeah. He answer, yeah. Then he comes back with something else. Now, now seeking, <clears throat> seeking further clarification. Jesus gives an illustration, basically, to define. To help this guy. Matter of fact, if you look at the text carefully, at the end of verse, verse 30 to verse 36, Jesus is seeking to clarify in this man's mind what is meant by neighbor. And in the end, he asked the man again, Now you tell me. <laughs> Yeah. He did. Yeah. You tell me what neighbor is. So, uh, I didn't do this as a parable. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see you right. I didn't see, uh, Elder, I don't see him say it was a parable either. But... The, the title calls it a parable. I'm trying to figure where they got that. They got it from somewhere to say it's a parable. It doesn't. It doesn't. So he doesn't call it a parable? He doesn't. I no. Don't, it, I don't it doesn't say it's a parable. Mm. Nothing in that. Says this is a parable. That it was a parable. Not from Jesus. The, the author just said that. Yeah, this is a parable. Broken down. And just, they call it a parable. But I noticed that when he, you know, I said in even my notes, I said, he said, certain man went down. Yeah. Yeah, that was a particular person. Hmm. Yeah. So he's basically just giving him a spiritual understanding of who your neighbor is. But he said, it. and I thought that was a very important question because he said it in those three other books you talked about. He mentioned it three times. Yeah. yeah. You know? Uh, at least it's brought up three times. Who is my neighbor? And I think that's important for us to understand. Who is your neighbor? And I, I think we start off again and said, if it's not your neighbor, what does that mean? You see, but <clears throat> let's see, here's my point, though. What I was seeing, I see all of this is really just a waste, really. Because you can't nail anything down. Say that again? You see, he's saying without a CIT, CIT. you can't nail something down. Nail this down. And you can't you can't contrast this or you can't try to make the link with other scriptural true because you don't have you don't have anything to link it to. Once you have the CIT, it is that CIT that provides the link to other truths of the scripture. Okay. Without the CIT. You you can you can pretty much do anything you want to do. Right. You can make you can make this mean anything you want to mean. But once you commit to a CRT, 
Now you're saying this is the truth that God that God has taught. Right. And if it's true, it's got to line up with all other truth that's in scripture. Right. It makes it so beautiful. But without that, you, you're free to kind of just, you know, throw up dust and do all kinds of things. Right. Yeah. And 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 and, and put it in my perspective, I my CIT was that's the one I have is the CIT for me for that. And and you know it's interesting the uh, like I said, I saw how those other verses the scriptures paralleled it. Uh, but in the end I was looking at toward the end, he was talking about the uh, like you said, verse 36 and 37 now. Uh, now, which of these three thinkest thou? So he's talking three different people, right? He left the fourth guy out. Thinkest thou was neighbor to him. Now the fourth guy is there, right? It's three people in there, right? And then the fourth man. There's all four characters in it. And he said, among the thieves, and like you said, he answered the question. He just showed mercy to him, and then Jesus said it to him, that's what he's saying to us, go and do so likewise. And, and the question, huh? Again, I tell you that if you, if you, if you do the work, you can you can really uh, I, 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 I go through every verse right i do it verse by verse and i just try to identify the substance that's in that verse right now when you finish doing that and you go back and look over basically what you observed about each verse it is from that body of, of stuff that your CIT is supposed to emerge. Because your CIT is supposed to have everything in the text right. at some high level that you can, that every word in your CIT should either point you to a particular verse or the particular concept that is taught in the verse. Right. So it's a high level statement that captures the spiritual truth of what that section of scripture is talking about. Right. Then once you have that, now you got it. Now you can start talking about. Okay, now is this related to the to the parable of the soul? It'll become crystal clear. It'll become crystal clear. Uh, because see, see, I'm of the impression. That, that there is a there is a there's a line of truth that runs through every scripture or every section of scripture. Once you get that line of scripture for that particular once once you get that truth, now you're in a position to be able to say, okay, it, it's like that truth is a piece of puzzle. It's a puzzle, it's a piece of a puzzle. You can now see how this piece of truth that you got fit with other truth. Uh -huh. But until you have that piece of puzzle. Hey, you're, you're free to just kind of, you know. Thank <laughs> you, And that's the, the, this is almost like, this is almost like getting married. This is, <laughs> you, you, you got to make a commitment to, the, to write that, to write that CRT and to polish it and refine it and fine tune it. So that finally you say, okay, this, basically what you're saying is, this is what the Spirit of God is saying. Yeah. Right. And that's <laughs> That is a very serious for me. I, I don't ever want to come to any of these gatherings and present to you. This is what I believe the Spirit of God is saying. If I hadn't dug and searched and prayed and thought and combed through and refined and polished and sought, that's how serious it is for me. Mm -hmm. See, I tell you what it is that helped me. Uh, really. To get a better grasp on the, the kingdom, the kingdom from a big picture standpoint. Right, right. So, 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 with that in mind, what are you talking about my CIT? 
I know you you're asking and trying to break it down. And I'll tell you where I got stuff from. 18 words, Bishop, is, is a very uh, restrictive uh, You did, you mean you, the one you actually did was 21 <laughs> or 22. <laughs> Say it again, you, you, the, the 18 words, I think, we probably don't want to, we might want to, don't want to restrict those nu the number of words. Maybe keep it down to 20, we think, I mean, but I, 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 I think that that number is a, is a, is a reference number so that you just don't get out of hand yeah. with your, with your statement, because it's, it's a statement of what, the spirit is saying. Man, right. so I do understand that, and there's and it's 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 not anything set in stone. That, those numbers of words, right. but that you refine it in such a way, it's almost like writing a bullet, a bullet statement. Right. You take out everything that doesn't have, you know, mean to minimize it and concentrate it. And, and it has a, 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 a purpose, a bullet statement, you know, what it was, how it was done, and what are the results. Yeah. And real simple. And yeah. I think that's what, what the CIT is trying to get uh, and, and, and bring it down. I don't think the, the number of words is, is something to really focus on, but that over your revision, you're trying and streamline. What? What is that 18 words? I think my CRT for this one is 20 words. It was 20 some words, right? You, but you said in the in the uh, the application it says from 18 words, 15 to 18 words. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying that that was the, in the that, that, that's the target you're shooting for. Yeah. But you don't want to bring a paragraph. <laughs> it's supposed to be a statement. <laughs> <laughs> a statement <laughs> to 18 word statement right <laughs> not five paragraphs <laughs> so and I, I would be saying that if, if necessary if the substance of what you're looking at I, I could even agree that it could be a compound statement okay but it, it, it can't be so so <laughs> Big until you can't, people can't capture the essence of what is being said. Right. See, with one statement, you're supposed to be able to comprehend it. You're supposed to be able to see what's being said. Yeah. Right. The right. dog is dead. <laughs> hey. When you, yeah. you, that's something you can do. Okay. I know, I know what you're trying to say. Hey, and it also means you're not limited to parables either, are you? This is not limited to parables, is it? Oh, no, no, no. This, this yeah. is, this, this is, uh, uh, expositional study of scripture period yeah good that's a good point i like that part. but that 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 and, and i understand that and i and i i really i like it and i'm enjoying this uh this form but i do know that the spirit gives me information and if I just write down what that is, mm -hmm. it's not in CIT. Okay. I like because I, the spirit will give me something on on something specific, and it has nothing. And, it, and it's it's specific in one small portion of scripture, and not the full stuff that we're reading. Right, you know the the the, the, uh, the verse. It, it won't yeah. encompass the, all the verses. Right, right. So, well, well, well I, I I think the spirit is going to give me some when I do the when I do the verse exposition. I I can get somebody every verse. Yeah, well, and I, I, I I understand that, but like I said, for for me, sometimes I just get something just on one specific thing, and if I was just to to write that down, it will stand all by itself. And then the rest 
could be just from study. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It could be just from me exegeting the, the scriptures, you know, yeah. going back and referencing and and stuff like that. Uh and and I and 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 maybe that that is 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 something I need to look for, whatever that the spirit gives me for that specific specific sentence or or scripture or statement in a that's within a number of verses. Maybe I need to break down the next verse and just meditate on that and see what the, the spirit gives me. But when yeah. the spirit leads me to something, I kind of stick with that. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, I'm kind of stuck on that and I'm doing research on that. And that could be like the first sentence. Right. You know, I, and, and, and I, I even think you agree, Bishop, that you can start off getting ready to look at a whole chapter or, or, or a paragraph and get stuck in the first sentence or the first few words. And then yeah. you could just study that for a week or a month. 